Hello everyone. Going live here and I'm trying to get my iPad going. I've got a holder for that now too. But I want to see what it looks like. Good, good, good. I'm going to do lips. Let's see. Let me put this one up. So you can probably actually see my Here's my other iPad that Cullen actually broke that eventually I'll get Switcher Studio, go, Studio going on. And I hope that um, I'll have a third camera too. So that is my plan. If you could see my office now, you guys would be so proud of me. I've got so much going on right now. I'm getting ready for convention and... Um, and so I'm getting organized. I'm gonna have guests over to stay, some of my team before we head on. So I wanted to get the office all done and I've got inventory all done. I cannot believe it. So a good friend and mentor um, actually, let me make sure and turn this down. She, um, when we, we were in a, another company together made this awesome book for their team and so she gave me great ideas for it unfortunately my publishing company though hi Katie hi Susan um, unfortunately the publishing company that I used to create the book said that they were switching to a different um, oh goodness printer and so I don't know if those books will be in on time but I told her I wanted to make her a sign. She's in a new business. Um, and, oh my gosh, the transformation that she has made. She was already a beautiful person inside and out, but she just, it's amazing. So I told her that I had a transfer that I wanted to make her a sign with, and I want to because I love this one. I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. So she wears a lot of color on her lips. If you guys know me, I'm not really a makeup -y person unless I go out somewhere. So I thought you guys could help me do a quick project on this um, easel board so you can chalk front and back for her so I can send it and ship it to her, which I really hope it doesn't break because I ordered several of these from, um, Hobby Lobby and several broke right here. So I'm gonna have to pack it up really nice and send this project to her because I think she'd love a sign for her videos. What do you guys think? Hey sissy, did you get your did you get your scrap box up yet? I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see. We're wishing you were going with us to Utah. So what do you guys think? We definitely need the big lips and the lip gloss. So if you haven't done Chalk Couture before with me, this is a new company, not even a year old yet. So I haven't even been in in a year, been in a full year. We're pushing ourselves to top leader couturier group we're hoping for. So you can, we got transfers that are all in one that you can cut up as well. And then we have something like this that's a collage and you can be artistic with. Um, so, we're gonna cut this up and make, be a little more artistic with this. So I know we wanna use the big set of lips. Now, all you do with Chalk Couture is this is a silk screen transfer that's reusable. You can use over and over and over again. That's why I love it. The cost effectiveness to be crafty and creative when you're not, because we all know I am not, um, is amazing. That's my favorite part of this. Reusable silk transfers, chalk paste that um, lasts a very long time depending on the sizes of your project, but it lasts for multiple uses. So I'm cutting out the, I'm probably not cutting it out on camera so you can see what I'm cutting out right now. So let's get back to it. Um, cutting out the lip gloss here. Jennifer Aldrich Zucker is who I'm making this for. Um, and I cannot remember, I think it's Yin, Young Neek that she's in. So I think 
but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. I need to get better. She's always looking beautiful, so I want to use Hello Beautiful in here. And you guys let me know more, too, if you see something that should go on there and help me um, be creative. So I want to have my lips, Hello Beautiful. I want to have some lip gloss there. And then we can put the inside of the lip gloss here with another color. Um, anything else? You guys look here and tell me. What did Lana say? Hold on. I'm using that one to make custom makeup bags for my girls. I know. Isn't that cute? I'm glad you girls are all talking to each other so you can uh, help me out with this. So... You guys let me know. She does lots of live videos and helps people feel beautiful inside and out always. She's always been that type of person. So I want to use some color. I kind of wish we had a hot pink like this. Technically, I will tell you, Tara, the founder of our company, um, um, she made a color like this, this particular color. Um, for a tour that she did and only a few people got them and I wasn't one of them because I couldn't make it to a tour last year in the fall so you look gorgeous you want me to use you look gorgeous where do you, do you want me not to use hello beautiful let me cut that out just so we have it Now I'm pretty sure that her lip glosses, if I remember correctly, um, they are smudge proof. Like they last and last. So, I know Lana, what color should we use? Do you think bubble gum is not a good color? I don't know, you tell me. Bubble gum is lighter than the frame. I think I'm going to use Long Lasting next to the gloss, right? Because I'm sure that's something she would like. Long Lasting Color, maybe? Oh, I didn't put it on airplane mode again. Magenta? Let me look for my magenta. I'm sure that's brick. So how is everybody doing this weekend? Oh, Lana, you want me to get into mixing colors like you do? You're the mixologist. Dried up magenta. Ooh, I'm going to work on that, add a little water and clean that up. So let me make sure I don't have another one. Nope, here's one. There's magenta. Lana likes to make things tough on me. Girl! And Lana, you should know who I'm making this for. I'm making it for Jennifer Aldrich Zucker. Do you remember? Um, let me think. One year, I don't know if you went to convention that year or not because I know you were for sure. You might have. It was, um, 
She was the Rosie the Riveter team. Do you remember when we dressed up and she was the Rosie the Riveter team? And she is just so positive and fun to hang out with. And I just love her to death, quite honestly. Okay, so. And then there's red, of course. Do you guys want red lips? Hot Lips Houlihan right here. So I think I'm nixing bubblegum for now. I've got magenta or red, but remember we got a hot pink frame. She's got long lasting, kissable, long lasting color. You can book, you can host, book and host. She does a lot of work online now though, smudge proof. And I got miniature lips too, just so everyone knows. Is that what she's doing is lip sense? Maybe that, okay. I don't know, is it lip sense or is it young Neek? It might be lip sense, you're right, Lana. So let's, it makes me even wanna do lips even longer. Long lasting color. You guys have to tell me where you want these things too. But I don't know, I feel like she has a whole cosmetic line. So, smudge proof. Lana, why don't you go out on my friends? Here's the rest of the transfer, Susan. Lana, why don't you go out onto my friends list and look for Jennifer and see if you can stalk her for a minute and make sure for me. You love how I always put you to work on my stuff. See if it's Lip Sense or Young Neek. Because the Young Neek is the eyelashes, isn't it? I don't know. I just so want to make this for her. And her lips always look gorgeous. But it might be the eyelashes. And I'm totally, totally wrong on this. So, I'll let Lana... Oh no, Lana's going to a retirement party. No, Lana, you can't go. Okay. So, magenta lips, how about? Let's go with magenta. And let's start this bad boy. Let's get this party started, right? Okay, I'm gonna center the lips because I just want that at the top. Now remember, when in doubt, you always rub that transfer out. You make sure there's no bubbles through that silk screen right there. Open up the magenta. Magenta's beautiful first open, so I really don't have to do anything with that except spread it. So let's put that here. Just give us a squeegee. And I love my little tool, my spreading tool. So we're gonna do the lips first at the top and we'll just work with it, okay, everyone? This is how easy it is. It's just done in minutes. The hardest part for me is being the creative person. My favorite thing in the world when doing this besides chalk couture is baby wipes because literally that's how you clean your transfers, how you clean your tools. But we're gonna get going. You guys are gonna see how quick this is. I'm just taking a squeegee. We have these beautiful blue silicone squeegees, but I really like to use these yellow ones too. Um, you can just get them at Harbor Freight. So I have plenty. Sometimes these are too big for what I'm doing though, just so you know. And so right now I'm working the corner and I don't want to get it on my board, even though if I did get it on my board, all it would take is, um, a little Q-tip 
some water or that spray um, glass cleaner. And that's all it would be to do that. Then once you spread across the silk screen, you lift, there's the magic. And you see I got a little there anyways, but I'm gonna put my transfer into this um, pan of water that I have sitting next to me on my desk, my chalk box. And it's wet right now, but it'll only take a few minutes to dry. So the lip gloss lying down. Okay, we're gonna do the outline of the lip. Oh, actually, let's cut out the other part first. So if you guys remember, and remember to write on the, not the shiny, shiny part of your transfer, but the back that's semi-gloss, not shiny, because that's where your transfer goes back when you clean it, but on the back. And of course, did I take my Sharpies out of here? Yes, I did. So I'll keep it next to my lip so I can mark on it. But on that transfer, there was a second layer, this layer. I would do this first, this is the actual color. Then I'd go above it and do the outline. So quite honestly, we're gonna take these lips off. I'm cutting them. You can use these lips on other projects, like Lana said she was gonna do little makeup bags for her girls. So, you can see that if you line them up perfectly, then that'll be the outline of it. So we want to do the magenta color, and I'll center it onto the fully colored lip gloss part as well. So that's what I'll do. So literally, I'm doing this for my friend. I do not know, technically, the business that she is rocking it. I think I do, but I don't, totally. So I'm going to um, go with it because she has such beautiful lips that I'm just going with the lip gloss. And maybe it's just because she does things, she just always looks good. She's always looked good, she's so beautiful. So I just wanna make this for her, whether she uses it for her business or not, that is okay. She will appreciate the fact that I thought of her. She uh, told me when I said, I'm gonna make you something, she says, you don't have to. I know I don't have to. Gifts are not because you have to. Gifts are because you want to. So all that extra paste, remember, I just scrape it off. Because believe it or not, you will think when you first get into this, I gotta have everything, and so, you don't realize how cost effective doing these little gifts and stuff are. Um, once you buy the transfer and you can reuse it and you can scrape that paste off and use it over and over again, you realize that this is a hobby that really does save on your pocket, your wallet. I was gonna say pocketbook. I sound like such an old lady. Oh my goodness. I have some cute pocketbooks though. Not gonna lie. Okay, so you can see we match the lip color with the gloss color. As soon as I let it dry, we'll layer it. You know, you if you want to dry anything quick, you can use your hair dryer. Woo, I just moved my stand with this hair. Or you can use a heat gun. I do not know why my heat gun is stuck in moving that. So here's my heat gun. I'm going to give it a shot of heat while you guys are on. You can see the color change. It actually will, you can see the dryness to it as it goes. And I can see that now around the lips. Um, it'll pop out that color for you. So I don't really need to do a second layer on my lips, so I'm not gonna fully dry it. I'm gonna fully dry the lip gloss container down here though. And we're gonna work on the words in the middle because that's what I'm gonna do the second layer on for the outline, um, the outline of the jar. So remember, if you haven't checked Chalk Couture out, you can go to my website at the Chalk Box, C-H-A-L-K-B-O-X, by Victoria.com, and you can shop um, for any of these transfers and any of the chalk paste or ink 
any surfaces that we have available right now. We have a lot out there. So you can shop and check it out and see what all you can do in minutes with me. Um, if you just love it and you want $250 worth of product for $99, join my team. Um, $99 gets you $250 like I said, but it, what it also gives you is a 40% commission. So you're actually able to sell products at a 40% commission or wholesale. And the other thing is, is that um, our minimum is only 150 a quarter. There's not many uh, direct sales companies out there that do only 150 a quarter. So you can just test it out and try it. It's, it's worth it just for the kit. Um, and please, if you ever did that, just let me know. That's all that you're doing it for is the kit. Um, I was just doing it for the kit, and I'll tell you what, before I even got the kit, I was signing people up and selling products, so what may be right for you now doesn't mean that's right for you later on. So let's do the words. Susan thought you look gorgeous, and she always does, would be great. I definitely want to put... Well, let's just do you look gorgeous right now. Because literally, I do not know what business she's in. So, lip gloss is lying down. What colors do you guys want to put the words? Should we do just white? Or what colors would you guys like to see on here? For you look gorgeous. I'm going to put it closer to the lips just in case we do a little more for her. And I want to make sure that it's even. It has to look, since I'm giving it to a gift to another professional, we definitely want to make it look like a professional board for her. Remember, when in doubt, rub it out. Make sure those bubbles are out. I'm going to go with white because, yay, Susan said white too, because it's the biggest contrast with a black board. White is our biggest selling chalk paste color. So um, the contrast, we'll do something else teal on there, Amanda, you know, because I love Thai teal too. So we got to put it out there. I just have to think of what else we're going to put on here. So I want to show you guys though, white on a blackboard, the contrast is amazing. And that is why it is our biggest selling product. Our chalk paste is specially formulated. We do it in-house in Utah. So it's a special formula of paste that really when you touch it and it's dry, it does not rub off until you spray water on it. So let's see. Custard, huh? Bonky. I don't even know where my custard's at. That's what's bad. And let me tell you, I got jars and jars of every color. So I know it's somewhere. And I like custard. But we'll show you guys the contrast of this white writing. We'll add some teal for Amanda. She also, Amanda's another beautiful, beautiful woman that has a business um, doing. Amanda, you'll have to remind me, is it Lip Sense that you do or is it Young Neek? And it, do I say that even right? I got the board at Hobby Lobby in the spring collection. So they might not be there now, but I do remember seeing some online. And I do not remember seeing this pink one. Maybe, I don't know, because I got it like at Valentine's Day. So see, the fonts, so like writing on a chalkboard, I hate doing because my writing, well, everyone says, oh, you have beautiful writing, and I don't think so, number one. But my writing kind of goes off to the side. Lime Life is what Amanda does. Now, I don't know what Lime Life is. I need to watch your, I need to get your website. Put it on here, Amanda. Okay. Now, so I'm going to do, remember we dried down the inner color of the, um, the lip gloss? Let's do, uh, let's just go ahead. So I'm going to line this up, and I think I better stand up. We're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to actually um, layer. Now, I will tell you, usually 
I do not like to layer on any boards other than chalk couture boards. Shoot, let me fuzz this up because this MDX, so I love Hobby Lobby, they have really cute boards, and when they go on sale, I love it even more, but the problem is they use MDX board, and it's kind of just a cheaper version. Old chalkboards were done with like slate, and ours are porcelain steel, and they're really easy to work on, and they're very easy to layer, but, MDX boards are hard. So what you wanna do when it's a brand new transfer like this, it's got the biggest stick that it will ever have. You wanna fuzz it up with a clean towel or shirt or pants or whatever you have and then put it over because you don't want it to peel off your first color. And it often does that and then I'm, I, I wouldn't say I'm a OCD or a perfectionist or anything, but it does drive me crazy. And I know a lot of perfectionists that do the business and it drives them absolutely bonkers. So, needless to say, I'm going to kind of just layer this up, line it up to layer it up, that's is what I'm trying to say. And you can just find your color under it on each piece. So like here's my handle and then, I don't know that I'm liking that either. There we go, that's what I was supposed to line it up. There's the handle, and then there's the color of the tip. And then you want to make sure that it's all lined up so you can get the right color. And I'm really, I really suck at it, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I stink. So I don't like to do lives with it, but I like to show you guys when I make a mistake too because I can show you how easy it is to fix it. And you're probably just seeing my head, so you're not seeing what a hard time I'm having actually lining it up. So once you feel really comfy, then rub those bubbles out like I told you. Okay. I think I'm being more of a perfectionist on this too because this is for somebody. Okay. And I'm still not right. Boo! Goodness gracious me! So. If you're a perfectionist, then you'll take more time. If not, it'll still turn out beautiful because normally I'm not a perfectionist, but I want this to be perfect for someone. So I'm trying my best and we're just gonna go with it now. And if it doesn't turn out as perfect as I want it, I may redo it later, but I'm just gonna wipe that paste on there like I told you guys I do. And I'll put the excess in back into the white. So, there we go. The thing that I love about this is it takes less than a minute to actually, once you get your transfer on, it takes less than a minute to scrape that paste over the silk screen to get a perfect artistic drawing or idea. And once again, I'm not artistic. So, let's see what I did. I messed it up, not gonna lie, but I can easily, so instead of redoing this, I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, first right now, I'm gonna take my baby wipe and take this color off that kinda went over the silk screen, and that's how easy it is to wipe off chalk paste. And then, once this dries, I'm gonna take this little piece of magenta here that I didn't line up, um, perfectly down there and take, I'm just going to scrape this off with my little baby wipe and I'm going to take my paintbrush and actually go in here with the magenta and fill the rest of that lip gloss bottle and right here too and it's going to be perfectly fine. Okay. 
I did not like the just my type. Sorry, Susan. I am not a heart girl, I can tell you that. And I really have to be because I'm sure there are lots of people out there that are. That whole um, line in February that had lots of heart and love. I don't know. I'm just not that person. What's wrong with me? Okay. So I'm going to do teal like Amanda said. And I think I'm going to do long lasting color. Now you'll see. <laughs> I might, I might leave it, but I think there's a couple things that, um, that I'd like to get at least a Q-tip on and go with it. So maybe I am a little bit of a perfectionist. I don't think I am for the most part, except for when I'm cleaning my house, which I was doing. So I'm going to put long lasting and I'll show you. So in this one pack, um, there's two different fonts. So see that? It'll be two different fonts. So you can, like Susan said there, use Just My Type. Um, you can mix some of your transfers. I think it's a good thing to do. So. I'm going to put color there. Make sure there's no bubbles. Put it on there. Long lasting color. That's what I'm gonna do. And we're doing teal, right? Okay, let me find my teal for Amanda. Amanda, you need to do more videos. I love it when you have no makeup on and you transform yourself each time with some new different techniques and colors. I love it. Okay, once again, still using the same baby wipe, just to let you guys know. You know, on the camera, Elta, you're right. You're right, it does look really good. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look horrible at all, but I like to play, and I even have this little tool that I can just play and scrape that little part off and clean it up really nice. Um, because it won't go out tomorrow in the mail, but I do have other things that have to go out in the mail tomorrow. So this is our tie teal right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the long lasting in the color because Amanda said she wanted to see some teal in this little piece of art. You know, this is what I love too, is I never wanted to be an artist when I grew up because I knew that just wasn't my forte, but I feel very artsy when I get my, a project done like this in minutes. And it is so, I don't know what it is, but I love making things as gifts. I just love it, love it, love it. I love receiving homemade gifts. And so, and I really think my friend's gonna enjoy this board, Miss Jennifer. And she's speaking at her convention soon. So, I think she's on a high and this will just make her even happier. Iggy, Iggy's on, yay, I haven't seen Iggy in forever. Okay, Magic Peel here. Love that color, love it, love it, love it. Magic Peel here and I got some extra around the silk screen, I know, so I'll be cleaning that up. And then I'm just putting these silk screens in a pan of water so they'll be easy to clean off right when I'm done with the video. And so, you guys will be able to see the wet marks that I make with the wet wipe right now but later on when I dry and clean it up, you won't even know it's there. Okay guys, I think that's my lips for the day. Remember to go see my, um, go see my website at thechalkboxbyvictoria.com. Go out to the YouTube channel. My assistant and I are gonna start putting some videos out there again. Um, that's what we're working on, but my computer is actually completing a big scan. So we're gonna put this video out on YouTube. Please subscribe to it. Um, I, ha I have, I think, 23 subscribers, maybe 25 by now, but I'd love for you to subscribe to the Chalkbox by Victoria on YouTube. Um, go out and check out my business page. I have all my little um, products there as well. And just have a great rest of your weekend. I may come back live again today. I've got some other projects I wanna do, but I wanted to get this one done. I'm gonna add probably a few more things. Bunky, it is, it's luscious lips. You are so right. Way to make me laugh in the middle of our live. Um, so 
just keep checking out Chalk Couture. Uh, just remember that this is the funnest job in the world to do Chalk Couture. And you're really scared at first to do it, but once you start doing it with it and playing it and realizing you can't mess anything up because if it's messed up, you can wipe it off and do it again, you guys will love it. It is so fun, so easy, and in our fast-paced world, we need something, some kind of hobby and craft to really make us feel like we have accomplished something. And this is it. You should see my house. Come visit us. So go out to the Chalk Box by Victoria, and if you're chalking, keep chalking. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.